Okay, so uh, our lecture four is about the mammalian skin uh, from the chapter protection support and movement. We will see about the uh, specific features of the mammalian skin and then we'll discuss them in a bit detail and their functions. Uh, the notable features of the mammalian skin are here, uh, a greater variety of epidermal glands, a highly stratified and cornified epidermis, and a dermis that is many times thicker than the epidermis. Uh, the layers of the skin, there are three different layers which are present in the mammalian skin. The first is the epidermis. Epi means upper. So the first or the uh, uppermost layer is the epidermis, which is uh, composed of stratum corneum, stratified squamous epithelium, several and several layers of other variety of cells. Stratum corneum, which is a keratinized cell, which is dead. Squamous epithelium, which is epithelial cells, which are cuboidal shape. And which are cells hote hain, like which glandular cells or sakte hain, ya kuch or cells hain. Uh, 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 epidermis hai, is major cells hote hain, they keep on growing. When they grow, the cells are pushed towards the upper layer where they become dead and then they become keratinized. So, keratinized cells hai, they form stratum corneum. Is the fayda ye hota hai stratum corneum ka ki ye ek impermeable layer bana deti hai and uh, jahan se. Or is it a thermal The second uh, layer is the dermis, which is the thickest portion of the mammalian skin. Um, it contains blood vessels, lymphatic vessels, and nerve endings. Then there are hair follicles, small muscles which are attached to hair follicles, and several types of glands. The third layer is hypodermis. Hypodermis is present below the dermis. And it is different from other vertebrate classes. Means the other classes, vertebrate, which are present, are very different. Hoti, as it contains loose connective tissues and adipose tissues. Adipose tissues are the fat cells which store fats, and these provide energy when needed. And there are skeletal muscles. Skeletal muscles are attached to the skin. In their work, they help in the the help in movement of skin. Um, uh, hoti hai, skin ke niche ki layers hoti hai, unse independent. Like it helps the skin to move independent of the lower muscles. So skin jo hai, wo thodi move kar sakti hai in muscles ki help se. So, isko ye, ye so here uh, we can see the uh, cross section of the skin. The skin can, this is the epidermis. Here you can see these uh, squamous uh, cells. And then um, there are different layers in the epidermis. This portion, this is the dermis, which is very thick. Here you can see a lot of things like um, blood vessels, lymphatic vessels, hair follicles. These are different other kinds of muscles. And uh, then uh, like, uh, various other things, nerve endings. Then there is a, a hypodermis. Hypodermis contains loose connective tissues and there are also adipose tissues. Adipose tissues they can, uh, contain fat and they store fat. Okay. Achha, the skin of aage jo hai topic wo hum hai, the skin of uh, mammals. Uh, gland, the glands into mammals. Just glands hote hai, in ke andar ko do ke hote hai. Uh, sudoriferous glands, just uh, uh, sweat glands, bhi kehte hai. Sudor, jo hai, wo Latin word hai, which means sweat. So, sweat produce karte hai. these glands are distributed all over the surface and um, they produce sweat by a process called perspiration. Like they absorb water and salts from the lower skin and cells and they secrete it outside the environment. Uh, and by this process, they regulate the body temperature uh, and they maintain homeostasis. Like uh, when the water is evaporated, it takes the temperature of temperature, water temperature with it. So it helps in the cooling of the uh, body and thus it maintains homeostasis. 
some of the sweat glands also produce pheromones and pheromones are the um, hormones or the chemicals which help in recognition of um, like uh, partners or they help in other behavioral uh, activities. Then there are sebaceous glands. Sebaceous gland uh, produce sebum. Sebum is the Latin word which means fat. And these are the simple glands which are connected to hair follicles. Uh, uh, the function of the sebum is to lubricate and protect and it acts as a permeability barrier or emollient. Emollient is the skin softener. Like a layer of the skin and it um, stops water from evaporation and it also helps in softening of skin and it also acts as a pheromone. Here you can see uh, this is sorry, this one is the sub sebaceous gland which is associated with the root follicle, root hair follicle and these are the sudoriferous glands which uh, produce sweat. So um, these are the types of glands which are present in the mammalian skin. Then an, another important feature of mammalian skin is their color. Their color is uh, important uh, and uh, we, we would see at first it, how it, this color is produced. So this color is uh, produced either due to the pigments, like pigments are present in the skin or the anatomical structures. Like there are different uh, types of structures like hair or um, uh, or scales. So these kind of structures may also help in um, uh, production of different kind of colors uh, and they absorb and reflect light. And then the superficial blood vessels which are present in the skin, they can also help in adaptation of color of the mammalian skin. Uh, uh, among the pigments, melanin is a type which is present in epidermal cells, uh, in hair or in chromatophores. Chromatophores are the cells which contains pigments. So uh, melanin is one of the type of the pigments which is present in the skin and it gives colors to the skin. What is the role of the skin color? Skin color uh, gives um, very um, bright colors to the skin and the bright color skins can be uh, due to venomous toxic or uh, bad tasting animals and uh, it, it may deter potential predators like uh, the kind of uh, mammals which uh, possess bright skin colors they are usually venomous or toxic and they uh, deter their predators due to these dark colors. Other skin colors may help in camouflaged animals. Camouflage is like um, uh, hiding uh, within within the same environment. Like if they have a very um, green color, they would hide in the leaves and they would they won't be able uh, we won't be able to recognize them from the leaf. So they hide themselves in the same kind of uh, environment and protect themselves from the uh, predators. Then um, uh, there are other things like uh, it also helps in social communication, helping the members of the same species to identify each other, um, to recognize the reproductive status of their partners and the social rank. There are lots of functions that a uh, skin color perform. Uh, then there are several other structures which are present in the mammalian skin and as we saw in the first slide that here is the particular kind of structure which is only present in mammalian skin. So what is a hair? Hair is composed of keratin filled cells that develop from the epidermis. So these are keratin filled cells uh, and uh, the parts of the hair. So there are two parts of the hair. The one that we see which is present uh, outside the skin is hair shaft and the one that is present inside the skin is the root hair. The root of the hair consists of uh, two other parts. Uh, the part of the skin or the uh, depression of the skin where it is present is called follicle 
and uh, the the end of the hair which is present inside it is called hair bulb so here uh, we can also see penetration of capillaries and other things um there are uh, muscles which are called erector pili muscles which get attached to this uh, follicle and they help in the movement of the hair shafts so what is the function of the uh, erector pili muscle it, it helps in the movement of the hair and how does the hair movement help the mammals like uh, when it moves it causes um, the hairs to stand which gives um, a different kind of look so it causes a uh, goosebumps which occurs usually during cold or during when the animal is frightened so uh, when uh, the hairs are standing they form in a layer uh, and the air get trapped inside it so it forms a insulating layer of warm air between the hair and the skin so in the cold environment if hair gets stand uh the it, the air gets trapped inside it and it helps in warming of the body then um uh if the animal get frightened the standing of the hair helps it to look larger and it can then um deter the predator and save itself so it helps the hair um like has also here also has many functions that uh, helps it to uh, survive in different kinds of uh, environments or conditions besides hair which are composed of keratin filled cells there are other kinds of cell, uh, structures which are also composed of keratin filled cells and these are claws um hooves and horns of lean and lean plates lean plates and whales and um uh, these structures are composed of keratin filled cells then there are other structures which are nails which are flat horny plates on the dorsal surface of the distal segments of the digits and these cells um, these um, nails are protective in nature so these